but kids and adults alike could probably use less sugar in their diets. Barry Friedman, author of I Love Me More Than Sugar, is a pro when it comes to kicking the sugar habit. He joins Tina with some sugar-free alternatives for kids. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed, and if you recognize him, he's been on lots and lots of shows. He was even the opening act for his six years for Robin Williams. Way back in the day when you, because yeah. you're a four-time world champion juggler. Yes. And he'll juggle in a second. <laughs> I will. We've got to do some. Right now, how it, how it relates is. Yeah. You know, now I'm talking about how people can juggle their diet and keep it clean. And uh, there's so much sugar in the world right now. And I see it with kids. And I want to talk a little bit about what kids are doing Right. You have themselves. a 12-year-old son. I have a 12-year-old and all his friends. And I see in the morning, we start with these high-sugar breakfasts, you know, the cereals and right. all this. And it's just a little bit out of control because... If we can get our kids to eat protein in the morning, it changes everything. It sets the sugar level in the body nice and low. Give me some good examples here. Yeah. So what we can have is oatmeal. We can use oatmeal filled with all kinds of protein, uh, flaxseed, almonds. And, hey, none of this stuff sounds crazy for kids. I have a great recipe that I want to help you understand for kids. Uh, F is fruit, great sugar in fruit. U is understanding that time takes change. Change takes time. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not going to be eating uh, Lucky Charms one day and banana chips the next day and right, thinking they won right. the lottery. And then N is never, never make them feel bad about it. Wanting to be kids, kids are kids. And if we can model, if we can model excellent diet, mm -hmm. we have a great chance of helping them live healthy. Right now, uh, we're in trouble with kids. We're in trouble with what they're eating. This is not like, unlike 1966, when Congress demanded that we start putting warnings on cigarette labels we're heading that way with sugar mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a bit out of control where it's at so you show me some good examples here you bet egg this is great and getting kids involved in food you know sometimes food is this mystery for kids but you know just letting kids slice their own egg and enjoy that food is uh sometimes all it takes is just having some fun with it mm -hmm. peanut butter and jelly sandwich stand by for lunch right a standard what do you think has more sugar tino let's see one twinkie or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich more sugar mm. No. Oh. Still there. How about two Twinkies? Now, which has more. I still see. Yeah, it's still the Twinkies. Even with three. Are you serious? At three, they get about even. So we're getting oh, yeah. peanut butter and jelly. We're loading them up with sugar. Wow. Emotionally, physically, mentally, we're, we're programming them to not succeed in school and right. to act out. Have kids involved with making fun fruit. There you go. Tuna ball, rice tuna balls. You know, a lot of fun, easy. Kids love rolling their own food. These are cacao, no sugar, no processed or added sugar in these. They're uh, dates ground up in a food processor so Ooh, with nuts, that sounds good. coconut, and walnuts. Mm -hmm. These are great substitution. These are just corn cakes, easy to make a sandwich on, and they're crunchy. Kids love them, and it doesn't have all the sugar. It's got no sugar. Right. So, don't keep them hyped up. Yeah. Okay, we want to see the juggling. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you, you know, we, got to see the we got to. This know, is interesting like, and all, but you yes. know, come yeah, on. It's yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Go throw something <laughs> in the air, juggle boy. This is uh, <laughs> hand me that. Hand me that. That's an eight pound bowling ball. Oh, okay. my gosh. That's an eight pound bowling ball. This is how much sugar a kid will eat in the next three weeks, unless eight you're conscious pounds? about it. Are you serious? Eight, eight pounds in the next three weeks. So I've decided to do that. The, the racket here represents some exercise. This is what the body lives for, is to move and exercise. And then an apple, absolutely the healthiest type of sugar in the world. So these three things, I think you can see which one's causing the problem. It's this big beast. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, 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 We'll find out about that. I'm not sure exactly what that's about. I was picturing that bowling ball crashing through our floor, and I thought, <laughs> right, you're going right. to pay for that. Okay. <laughs> you're going to pay for that. Nope. All right, his book again is called I Love Me More Than Sugar. Very, very great. All right, stick around for next hour. Okay, team.